Hey folks, so uh, this is a really extraordinary lot of original documents uh, that relate to a, a, a 60, it's a 68K question uh, Q&A from the magazine Soft Talk. And these items came from the estate of the actual editor of Soft Talk magazine. And this particular lot is a collection of documents relating to the production of the magazine, including the, um, the submission from uh, Andy Hertzfeld. This is an original letter from Andy Hertzfeld to the uh, uh, editor of uh, Soft Talk magazine. And um, it's uh, ST Mac was the actual magazine that this was in. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. You see um, Andy talking about asking that they send back the diskette that he used for his uh, submission. Uh, he's obviously a freelancer and he says, contrary to popular opinion, I don't get the, the discs for free, he says, which I thought was interesting. And, um, you know, back then people had no internet to transmit files. They were doing everything. They did have uh, dial-up modems, but they were transmitting everything through discs and mailing them and the discs were sufficiently costly that they wanted them back. So this is the original cover letter. It's signed by him. And then the next item that we have is the manuscript that uh, Aunt, Aunt Mr. Hertzfeld sent over to Soft Talk magazine with the August uh, uh, 68K questions. Um, when you look at the actual magazine, you'll see what the 68K means. It's, it's obviously a play on words because 68 kilobytes. Um, you'll see the manuscript and how he submits it on perforated dot matrix printer paper and you'll notice that the editor marked you know in pencil who needs to see it you see a lot of the editor's notes is in here as well and then you have many pages of notes and, and edits that were made and this is the process that uh, the publisher went through to to do this but back then you know people submitted the original manuscript in a printout and then they put it on a disc as well. The disc was, was probably used for typesetting. I, I don't know because I wasn't there, but I'm guessing it was used for typesetting. And then the next item with the original rusty paper clip is the typesetter's version. So this is the same article that's been put into typesetting and you can see all the uh, typesetting notes here. And then this goes through another round of edits you can see in, in red ink. I generally think that Softalk used red ink for first editing. And if there was another round of edits, I think they used black ink for the next round of edits. So uh, this document would be uh, the uh, original notes from the editor, uh, you know, of the eight pages of this uh, column. So you can see that. And then here's four pages. And this is not an actual final board. Uh, but this is dated July 3rd, two th uh, July 3rd, 1984, and you can see the slug line, August Questions and Answers for St. Mac, uh, which stands for Soft Talk. It was the magazine called ST Mac, St. Mac, or so ST Mac, Soft Talk um, magazine for Macintosh, uh, because they had other, they had Soft Talk and then they had ST Mac. But you can see that they've uh, printed out on, you know, on some kind of a, of a, a machine uh, this is the typesetting machine and it shows what the line numbers are but in this they have the original editor's notes this is the beginnings of the layout but not the final version of what it looks like but this is how the typesetting looked and then you'll notice the editor is putting in you know additional notes and things so that's four pages these are all originals and then the last item which I think is pretty cool is the final uh, typesetters I guess it, we call it a board, I believe. And you'll see how it actually appears in the magazine, 68,000 questions, you see. Um, and you'll notice the byline by Andy Hertzfeld. Now, this is uh, the publisher's approval. You know, the publisher appro approved it. And you'll notice that originally there was an edit, but then they crossed it off showing that there was no edit. They didn't have highlighter markers that I'm aware of back then, so they used grease pencils. I remember using grease pencils when we were doing the... Uh, work back in the 80s, and it's the August 1984, and that concludes uh, this particular lot. It's an incredible lot of some very rare items that are one of a kind. The only 
originals of these in on the entire in the entire universe uh, and it will be auctioned off to the highest bidder and uh, and you can become the collector of them what I thought was really neat about this is that this actually it, it still has a piece of uh, some kind of a tape on it but this original ballpoint pen letter is on a Macintosh um, pad letterhead three hole punch letterhead in its original so uh, pretty cool stuff so Thank you very much for considering bidding. We appreciate your support.